Did you know that your body's immune system can be supercharged using the power of electricity? If that surprised you, or if you're not quite sure how it works, stick around. Because in this episode, I'll break down the key role that electricity plays in boosting your immune system and how acupuncturists like you can use this knowledge to improve patient outcomes. My name is Dr. Jeremy, and I help acupuncturists like you achieve breakthrough results with the world's most advanced electroacupuncture techniques. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button now so you get notified every time I release a new training video. I also give away a free downloadable resource with every episode. This episode is called How to Perform Blood Electrification Treatment, BET, to Improve Immune System. So make sure you grab your copy before you go. Ready to dive in? Let's begin. How does a white blood cell destroy a pathogen? Well, it releases a inflammatory molecule that damages the pathogen's outer shell and then kills it. And then it still has to suck it in and get rid of that toxin. And when you kill a pathogen, some of the toxin from the pathogen gets dumped into the system and then the immune system has to deal with that. Now, if this whole process happens without enough electricity in there or without enough negative charge, remember back to the slide yesterday, negative charge is like a antioxidant. Well, the immune system, the white blood cells, releasing a positive charge to destroy something, and it releases a little bit more than it needs to kill it. But once that thing's dead, now you have inflammatory molecules floating in central circulation. If there's enough negative charge, it'll get buffered. If there's not enough negative charge, then those inflammatory molecules will damage other cells, like inner lining of vessels or red blood cells. It'll whatever it comes in contact with, healthy tissue even, it'll pull electrons in there and cause an inflammatory response, and then it's this loop. And this is the immune system leak that we're always talking about. A blockage or a foci is what they call it in German auricular medicine. We call it leaks. And of course, how important is the immune system for life? and for cellular regeneration, and for musculoskeletal disease, and for everything. And accumulation of electrons on red blood cells helps target disease, as all disease lacks negative charge. This is what I was saying before, all the blood in the whole body goes past here, the radial artery, might as well use each red blood cell as a tiny little capacitor or battery, charge up the surface, and then that goes, swims around the body and offloads its negative charge into other tissues that need it, and then come circling back around to be charged up again. Only one needle is necessary when you're in your clinic. Use four hertz, low power. Um, if using pads, remove the resistors and boost your machine to above 27 volts. Bob showed us that we need above 27 volts in order to get that electricity across and through the skin and into the vessel. Now, longer is better. And then I wrote, if patients in a moderate or severely diseased category, at-home treatments will be highly beneficial in between acupuncture treatments. And I wrote this slide before 2020. Post-2020, we see a toxin in our population that wasn't there before 2020, and it's probably not even related to vaccines. They're poisoning us from somewhere else. It's called hydrogel. It's a synthetic material, globby, huge, and it's like polyethylene glycol sort of situation. Very difficult to break down. I like natokinase for this. So Doctor's Best is my favorite brand, and I dose 2,000 FUs three times a day. It's dosed in fibrolytic units. Now, I said longer is better. There's a caveat. On the first treatment, I suggest 15-minute blood electric because, depending upon how toxic they are, depending upon how shut down their immune system is and hasn't been doing the job of cleaning up the trash, the inner environment of the blood, um, they could detox. And detox for us is a very positive thing. 
So if they do get detox after 15 minutes, don't do any more blood electrics until those symptoms go away. And once those symptoms go away, then you could try for 30 minutes. And then you want to get the person up to two hours at home without any detox symptoms. And then once you have two weeks of that, uh, two hours a day with no detox symptoms, then you can add in that mag pulser, that other portion of the Bob Beck protocol. So what do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So feel free to leave your comments or questions below. Remember, I've created a fantastic downloadable resource called How to Perform Blood Electrification Treatment, BET, to Improve Immune System. The link is in the description. Be sure to grab your copy. If you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you have any colleagues who could benefit from learning about blood electrification treatment, feel free to share this video with them. For more information about my courses and advanced electroacupuncture techniques, you can visit electroacupuncture Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.